To make the pumpkin, we need to add a UV sphere. So just add that UV sphere and we will go with the 16 segments and 16 rings. After that, you need to go to the orthographic view and then just go to the edit mode, select this top word and then bottom words and then turn on this proportional editing and then you need to scale it along the Z axis. So just scale it down along the Z axis like this. Adjust the scale here along the Z axis. After that, you need to select this edge loop. So just select this edge loop with the shift select and then control B and then add a bevel with the one segment. Give the proper bevel width. After that, you need to add the loop cuts like this. So just add the loop cuts and then select this loop cut with the shift select. And then scale these loop cuts along its normal. So S. So you need to scale them with the Alt S. So press Alt S and then scale them along their normals. And just adjust the scale along these normals. After that, you need to add the subdivision surface modifier. So, so just add that sub modifier and increase its level up to 2. And then you need to add the loop cuts like this in between these two loop cuts. So add this loop cuts. And then you need to select these loop cuts. Turn on your sub modifier and scale down these loop cuts along their normal with the Alt S. And you can see we got the pumpkin form here. And it's look pretty well. Now turn off your sub modifier. Use the insert operation here. And you need to create the right topology. So select the words, right click and then connect to vertex path and create a chord based topology at here. Then you can take the symmetry along the x and y axis. And then you can take the symmetry along the z axis. So mesh and then symmetrize. And take the symmetry along the z axis. And you will get this kind of form. If you want to make it flat then you can do that. So just select these faces. And then press S and then Z, give the value 0 and then you can use the insert operation to make it flat. And same thing you can do with the top surface. So just select these faces with the shortest path selection, then press S, Z and give the value 0 and then use the insert operation at here. After that you need to add one more cylinder and we will go with the 24 words or maybe 16 words you can take and just you need to give the right position and then select these edge loops edge rings and then you can add loop cuts in between them after using the bevel and just you need to create the bird for this pumpkin so just select these edge loops with the shift select and then scale down them along the x and y axis and then add the sub modifier and then you need to use the insert operation on this top and bottom faces and add a few loop cuts at there give the right position and then you can add a few more loop cuts on the model to maintain the form then shade smooth it and create the right topology at here use the loop tool and you can create the right topology and then adjust the scale here and now we need to deform it so we can go in the sculpting tab so select that bird and then go to the sculpting tab and just you need to use the sculpting brushes and you need to deform it a little bit so we can add that wonky shape for the bird so you can use the grab brush and just deform it and you can create the high poly version of the pumpkin and you can bake those details on this low poly version or you can use the texture to create that realistic pumpkin so here I'm just creating that pumpkin model and you can add more details on it with the sculpting or with the texture. Here I'm creating pumpkin with sub modeling method. And after deforming it, it will look good. Just work on it and you can use the reference images to get the right form. And then just adjust the position here and take it a little bit up. And now you can see your pumpkin is ready. Just shade smooth it. So select both the object and then shade smooth them. And you can see the topology here. We got a decent topology on the model and decent form. So your pumpkin is ready.
So thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial, then hit that like button and subscribe our YouTube channel. Bye bye. So next video, take care.